the real problem. I was asking in Spain, for example, for the real spending of the money. Then we received the message, okay, the government has received now, meanwhile, more than uh, 40 billion, and most of the money was spent in the area, uh, and to, was given, meanwhile, to the regions. Then we're saying, okay, the regions, uh, if they have received it now, but what kind of projects have been realized? How much money has been spent? I asked the last time I asked for three weeks ago. Till now, I didn't receive an exact figure. And this is what we are asking from the Commission. We want to know how much money has re re uh, reached the real economy. How much money has been spent for hospitals? How much money has been spent for projects in environmental issues, in digitalization areas? We want to see the real figures. This is the criticism that is still, um, uh, this is still uh, valid. And I hope that the Commission, already in um, October or uh, at the end of the year, will give us for the second RIF a better overview of the real spending. Because the first interpretation of the Commission that the final beneficiary is a member state, we didn't accept at all. We said, we want to know who really is receiving the money, because at the end, the final beneficiary is not the member state. The final beneficiary will be somebody or a company or an NGO um, uh, realizing a project. And we clarified that um, all the money of the European Union must really be, be spent for European or European added value purposes, not only for purposes um, that are uh, um, perhaps in, in the normal national budget. Last point, 